Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys missed it, ESO had its year-end stream event. Uh, I did a live stream of that. We talked about all the changes, good and bad, what's kind of go on. So in this video, I'm just going to cover the highs and the low points of what was discussed during the stream. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, as usual, before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, huge shout out to my patrons, especially my newest patron, Jason Pridey. Thank you so much for your contributions to the channel. This, it wouldn't be possible without you guys. I really mean it. Also, doing a PvP Top 5, as you guys know, please submit your clips to HorcruxESO at Yahoo.com. So, some of the highlights. This is very kind of hastily thrown together. I'm not going to have all kinds of cool graphics and stuff to talk about. Now, if the stream deserved it, yes, I would absolutely take the step and include a lot of edits and high points now the best part of the stream was the trivium performance trivium was absolutely amazing if you guys can please like check out a vod like on twitch uh twitch uh, dot tv slash bethesda go check that out i'm sure there's gonna be a youtube video put up about somewhere but trivium has had an amazing performance performing some of uh some of the lyrics and songwriting you know like eso related stuff so that was really cool so um, what not was talked about, so we had uh, two of the community managers, we had the, our, our development team, uh, Rick, and then we had uh, uh, the the, the uh, combat lead, I forget his name, Rob, or, or whatever his name is. So, essentially, most of the questions that were asked during the stream pertain to quality of life with the armory. Um, so, questions were asked about whether Astronaut Mundus's will be able to be changed the answer is pretty much no that's that means that they said they don't look at it not really so much another question that was asked that will you be able to use your army inside of serial pvp the answer is absolutely not because that would kind of ruin the game because you could just kind of start out with a genki build and then just you know with a click of a button you see a zerg you can go to your bombing build so um i i kind of agree with them on that 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 should not be a thing right um, always the question arises about server performance and maintenance and what we can expect. It, it's the, the same information that we already know. Uh, they're upgrading the hardware, yada yada. It'll eventually be okay. You know, things like that. So uh, they did a giveaway of uh, Trivium signed CDs. Uh, there's a couple of them. Uh, there is a pony. That you can possibly get as a pet if you join the the live stream VOD, and it'll, it'll show up as a drop in your your Twitch notifications or, or whatever. But what we are really interested in is the PvP and the server performance thereof. The server performance, they said they can't really do anything about it. And then Rob, I think that's his name. I have to go back and look at the VOD because I really don't know what this dude's name is. Uh, yeah, Rob Garrett. So there's Rob Garrett, Jessica Folsom, Gian Bruno, and Rich Lambert, I believe. So Rob Garrett, the question was specifically asked. He he is the like the lead of the PvP you know, like design teams, right? And combat, just combat in general. And the question was asked, are there any upcoming events or changes or what are we doing with PvP? His answer, guys, I shit you not, I may even go back and clip it, is that they have no clue what's going on with PvP. They don't even want to speculate because they don't want to say anything. And he didn't want to answer any more questions about the PvP. I mean, I'm paraphrasing, of course, that was not verbatim, but that's what he said. And that was the only answer or only question about PvP that they chose to involve on the uh, on the stream. So, guys, uh, I, I don't even know what to say about that. If, if the lead Rob Garrett, you know, kind of the, the combat analysis doesn't want to speculate on PvP, it's a problem. Either they don't care about it. And they just want to push their merch, which they did all stream. All you saw was a fucking t-shirt the entire stream. Like, like five or six times to sell this goddamn shirt. Like, either you know that PvP is not going to net you any money, so you're not going to comment on it. Or they honestly, the devs have no fucking clue what to do about PvP. So they refuse to the answer the question that way. So... Take it how you want it. That, that was pretty much the stream. I'm, I'm not bullshitting you guys. That, that was the entire stream. Uh, he summed it up here in like five minutes. Uh, there's some merch. 
uh, Trivium is doing this guitar giveaway. There's a pony you can get. Um, Black Reach is out, or not Black Reach, but uh, Blackwood is out. The prologue quest, fun stuff, uh, drops. Um, yeah, pretty much everything you already know was discussed during the stream. Nothing really groundbreaking. So um, I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that, guys. Give, give you the uh, the Horcrux Cliff Notes slash Spark Notes slash Pink Elephant version of what and all happened during the stream. But uh, yeah, hopefully. It doesn't end on that note, coming from a PvP background, but uh, we'll see in the months to come, fellas. So, thank you again for helping the channel, liking, subscribing, even disliking. That helps the YouTube algorithm as well. To you very few haters out there, thank you very much for your <laughs> ongoing support. And uh, I look forward to producing more content for you guys in the future. Let me know what I can improve on, and we'll go from there, fellas. This, this channel's for you guys, not me, right? I'm here for you all. I live to serve. <laughs> Alright, y'all have a great day. Peace.